So guys, I made some healthy geese dodo. For all the details, ingredients, measurements, it's all on the blog. Yes, it's on the blog. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, like and comment. Enjoy! Hello guys, hello guys. Oh, hello. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. It's your first time of seeing my face. You are so welcome. I do videos about food, just anything that concerns me. And my name is Ebu. Yes. So, in case you are new to the channel, you probably don't know I started a blog. In case you have not watched the last video, you probably don't know I started a blog. So, the description for the blog is down below. Please go and visit. Go and read, go and try the recipe. I will be dropping today's video also in the blog. So yes, go and check it out. Anyway, as I promised in my last video, this week will be about food. If you know me, you know that food gets me really, really excited. So I'm going to be making giz dodo today. Yes, I am going to be making giz dodo in a healthy way. So. As all of you can see, my cheeks are very rosy, and I do try to eat as healthy as I can. I do try almost days of the week. So I want to be showing you a healthy way I make this dodo. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope you like the video. If you want more details about how I made it, you can go to the blog and check it out. You can try it. You can take pictures and tag me on social media yes if you're not following me on social media handles please go and follow me because i don't understand if you're not subscribed to the channel go and subscribe but let's get into this video guys guys for this recipe i'll be using gizzard which i've already cooked seasoned with sauce maggi and all those good stuff onions bell pepper spring onions some plantain asparagus dodo some carrots because i like carrots in mine and the big peppers are for the sauce that i'll be using for the giz dodo so guys, it's chopping time. I'll be chopping my plantains first. Yes, just make them into bite sizes. Try and make them equal and even because that will really, really, really help. Then the next thing I'm supposed to be using, I'm to be using this cutter to cut my peppers. Please, everybody needs this cutter in their kitchen because it just saves you from the drama of chopping things. <laughs> hey, then I'll cut my carrots and then I'll cut my spring onions with a scissors and then I'll cut my gizzard with the cutter see this cutter saves lives go and buy it it's on Amazon I'll put the link in my description so I'll be seasoning my plantain with some salt and two tablespoons of oil and I'll be throwing that into my air fryer for all the descriptions go to the blog the details are there and then I'll be putting my gizzard in the air fryer as well all the descriptions and details are in the blog so in a pan I put some oil and then I added my pepper mix and then I go to season that with some maggi and some salt and I'm just going to cook that for about 10 minutes you really want the pepper to be well fried yes very well fried you want it done like done 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 anyway I'm just going to cook that for about 10 minutes and once it's done I'll put off the gas and then I will go and mix all my ingredients together So guys, I'm going to put some oil in the pan and I'm just going to allow that oil get hot. Then I'll add all my veggies, so my carrots, my peppers, my onions, my rodo. i to season that with some salt, some stock cube, some thyme, some ginger and garlic powder as well. Yes, if you know me, you know I like all these things. <laughs> so I'm just going to allow that to cook. I cook this for about 5 minutes because I wanted my carrots to get soft enough but not too soft. And I didn't want my, my other veggies, so my peppers, to get too soggy. So you need to cross the balance. I think 5 minutes is perfect timing for you to do all of that. Yes. Please ensure that you keep stirring from time to time just to make sure that your ingredients are not burning as well. So guys, I'm going to add my plantains. Now look how glorious those plantains look. And they are air fried plantains, so no extra oil oil. Then I'm going to add my gizzard as well. And I'm just going to turn that all together. Yes, mix it together. Just play around with it for a few seconds. And then next thing I'll be throwing in is my fried stew. Yes. I'm going to mix that up. See, all the descriptions, all the quantities will be on the blog. So go and check it out if you're interested. I'm going to allow this to cook after mixing it well for about 5 minutes again. Yes, I'm going to add just a bit of water because I found out that 
it was there was no moisture and i just needed it to be a bit loose but you might not need to do that if your sauce is slightly loose but then i'll just keep on cooking that until it's done so after about five minutes i'm going to throw in my spring onions yes if you know me you know i'm an onions girl i love love onions in fact i don't even know why i don't add extra onions at the end but like i was like able to overdo it <laughs> But guys, I added my spring onions and I allowed it to cook for another one minute because I want that spring onions to still have a bit of crunch. Yes, and guys, I just cooked this on low heat for the last one minute. And guys, this food was good. It was good. Just in case you were wondering what the finished product looked like, <laughs> just look at it. Look at it. So I'm going to be serving this to my friends when they come visiting and I'm sure they are going to love it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and check out the blog. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!